Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review Project Wolf Hunting from 2022. This is a South Korean action thriller. Dangerous prisoners are on board a cargo ship and the destination is South Korea. They are chained up and there are around 20 cops who are guarding them. But on the cargo ship there is a dangerous secret. Welcome to Con Air, or maybe not. Welcome to Con Air meets Universal Soldier. I have watched almost every movie Kim Hong Seon has made, and my conclusion is that he's a mediocre movie director. If you watch the movie trailer and read the plot synopsis, it's easy to understand why Project Wolf Hunting got some traction, since it offers a lot of violence and blood. The plot never takes a break, but what about the characters and the acting? Is it any good? Is it? Well, I'm going to tell you now. No. The script is empty and so are the boring characters, and there are few actors here who shine. And I like my actors to sparkle. This is a boring movie with grey and dull characters, and the only character I liked doesn't get enough screen time. So in the start, I thought this was going to be a fun Con Air clone just on board a cargo ship. But then you realize that the cops and prisoners have no souls. It's more interesting watching paint dry than watching and listening to these fools. These aren't characters like the cool and dangerous characters we follow in Con Air. Some minor spoilers here, but on board a cargo ship, there's a deadly secret that the evil Japanese created, and it's a character that you will recognize if you have watched some of the Universal Soldiers movies. But he also feels like a mutant from a Resident Evil game. I like the sound effects when he was running and moving fast, and he can also remind me of a Cenobite from the Hellraiser universe. He's a killing machine, so who can stop him? Is there anyone else on board that has secrets that can save the day? Is there? Huh? You tell me. Or maybe I should tell you since I watched the movie. The movie ends with a cliffhanger and I hope we don't get a sequel. But with my bad luck I'm certain we will get one. I was not invested in the poorly written characters and even if the movie has a lot of violence and blood, I wasn't smiling. And when the sleepy creepy guy isn't smiling, when there's a lot of violence on the screen, it means that the movie doesn't offer any creativity that I haven't experienced before. This movie isn't worth watching with its dull characters and the lack of imagination under the action scenes. The movie feels lifeless and the cinematography is pretty ugly, to be honest. From 1 to 10 I give Project Wolf Hunting a 3 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Sleep well and dream about me. Mm -hmm.